Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kelly Allen and welcome to this extra video, I believe. This is sort of the video that you would have got on Friday, just gone. I've been very ill. I've actually had COVID. Uh, it's, it hasn't been great. I'm getting better. I'm very, should we say, decongested. I've had it for a week now and it's, it's pretty much gone. It's just a case of I need to be less uh, stuffy, built up, blocked, whatever you want to call it. So, we're going to do a little repot today. As you may hopefully see from the duration of the video, it's not a super long one, just a quick chat. I do have obviously more content coming up for you anyway. You'll have something on Friday still, you're not missing this Fridays. I might even have something extra for you next Tuesday as well. I've got some extra bits coming out, you feel me? Because after this video, I'm actually going to film me doing some orders and boxing them up, which I probably will do them over there because I need the space and there's shit ton of feed over there. So, without further ado, let's just get into it. I, today, right, today, 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 uh, let me get my gloves on there while I tell you what I'm doing. Why not? If I seem scrambled, it's because I am. I've just filmed three videos off the trot and I'm very tired. You might think it's not tiring, but honestly, I kind of liken it every time to like doing a presentation in front of people. Like I know there's nobody here, but it's a lot of work to think and to talk and to do all of that and to present sort of, I guess. And by the time you've done them, honestly, by the end of the day, you sleep. You sleep like a baby, trust me. It really always takes it out of me, especially if I've done, um, I've filmed and edited in the same day. Typically, I don't like to do that at all. It really depends. I like to do it the next day. So I've like, I feel a bit more refreshed. But anyway, so that is why I feel a bit tired. My ring, I should have taken it off and I have not. I have not. Here we go. Right. So today, this is, I believe this is Thaumatophilium. Should we try that again? Let's try that again. Thaumatophilum William CI Variegated. I've had it for a while. It's, I wouldn't say it was my favorite thing in the world, but I, I want it to be. I want to give it the chance, guys, because variegation wise, it's actually done really well. Uh, I mean, a lot, in a lot of ways, it's done really well. I can't remember when I got this in, probably last year. But you'll notice here that the petiole to leaf ratio is not the best. It could be a lot better. I can't do much other than probably feed it and we'll just see how it, it goes going forward. I suspect that this plant has this sort of ratio anyway. Thaumatofilm can kind of get like this. I don't think it's like the African fantasy. I think that's a little bit more stout. I don't know. I haven't Googled it as of doing this. In fact, you know what? I'm going to Google it right now. Um, yeah, it kind of does look like that, doesn't it? So maybe I don't have high hopes for this. Yeah. Okay. So this is kind of the vibe of the plant, which is not my favorite. I think you'll agree. I've said this before on many a video. For me, leaf to petiole ratio, I call it, is a little bit important. So for example, the size of these, if you have a petiole this long, I would hope for something at least maybe a third larger than this. But we'll see how it goes. This isn't the worst ratio I've ever seen. It definitely is on the newest leaf. The older leaves, they're not so bad. Let's give it a chance, guys. Let's give it a chance. So we're going to take this out. We're going to put it in pond. We're going to put it in the chooser pot, as always. Now, I grabbed this pot, right, that I haven't... It's got moss in it for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I grabbed this pot in order to pot it up. But then I thought, that's not much bigger. And once I've tried to put these massive roots in here, I'm not sure if I'm going to get them in. So, ah, oh, y'all aren't going to like me for this. But I went upstairs and I grabbed a plant that has been sat outside the studio for quite a while because it died or it was dying or whatever. And I've left it a long time. And it's the most beautiful dead plant I've ever seen. Like, in a lot of interior design, this would be a vibe, right? I'm going to hold up a plant for you that I'm kind of swapping it with because it is dead as hell, right? Oh, bless him. He did so well, though. He did so well. Do you remember this guy? This guy was an asparagus fern. As I say, like, honestly, this would go beautifully in my house. It's dead as hell. But in terms of the vibe, the colour, it's very like pampas grass right now, right? So this poor guy here, hold him a bit closer. It is a big shame. It's a big shame. However, for now, I'm going to use the pot. That's not to say that I won't depot this at some point and put this guy in something else. Honestly, I value my pots in here. And if this guy does not get a better ratio than this, then he'll probably come out, to be honest. I really wanted to put my African fantasy in, but it's been terrible since I got it. How many leaves does it have? Does it have a couple? Yeah, it's bad. Because it's growing all yellow leaves. If you remember, I got that one a while ago for a good deal. You might remember, you might not. Um, but the variegation, I was like, oh, this isn't good. And it wasn't good. And it's doing the whole green leaf, yellow leaf, green leaf, yellow leaf. So that's not doing so well. So I think we're going to pop this up and I'm just going to see how it does. But I'm not going to sit here and say I probably won't pull it back out of this pot because I feel like I will. I mean, I would pop something else, but I can't, like, I can't quite think of what I would want to pot, to be honest. Because everything's kind of got its 
got its vibe, you know what I mean? So we're going to give it a go. We're just going to give it a go. So without further ado, questions. There's not a ton of questions. And again, this isn't going to be a long video apart from the intro, obviously. Uh, we'll just, we'll just start with it. So first things first, I'm recording a lot of videos in bulk because I'm going to London um, very, very soon. And I need something to put this lecker in. Where's it gone? I have like a bin full of lecker. Oh, it's here. Oh shit. That's God, that's in there. Right, hang on, guys. Oh, it's got some good root. Holy shit, it's got some good root. So yeah, I'm going to London, London, in about a week or so, because it's my birthday. It's my birthday, guys. So I'm going there for a few days, and I kind of wanted your help a little bit, because I want to know what's good, what's good in London. Um, it could be somewhere to eat. It could be somewhere planty. It could be, it could be anything really. What I don't want to do, I'd like to see some museums and stuff, but I can't go and see the National History Museum because I'm not going with my dad to London, but I know my dad's wanted to do that for years. He wants to go on a museum tour, so maybe don't recommend me museums because I'm kind of keeping that sacred for me and dad sort of thing. And I want to go and experience that with him for the first time. I know, cute. Um, so maybe not that. Uh, oh, there's so many new roots that have just come off just due to probably me shaking that, but hey-ho. Um, oh, hang on, where's my snippy snips? I've, I've used the snippy snip earlier on. So where is it? Aha. Uh -huh. um, so maybe not something like that, but definitely somewhere to eat. Not like expensive places or anything, obviously. Just just nice places that you think I should see in London. Uh, tourist attractions, sure. Sorry, I'm going to have shit all over my face now. Um, just anything, really. Definitely plant shops. I really want to go and see different plant shops. I'm going to go to Kew Gardens. I've never been. It's been on my list for years. So... I'll be going there. I don't know what day it is going to be. Um, you're seeing this tomorrow, so you're seeing this on Tuesday. I'm going on Sunday to London, and I'm going to go to queue Monday, Tuesday, something like that, maybe. Don't know. Um, uh, would it be Tuesday? No, it won't be Tuesday. It could be Monday, maybe. I don't know. I'll let you know. I don't know if you're interested in knowing when I'm going or anything. Um, it'll be during the day or whatever. So yeah, I want to know some good places to go. Sorry, I was going to cut this off. I was looking, and there was a really dark root. Parts of it look rotted, but it's not. There's like a really dark root and then there's perfectly good root just growing out of it. Obviously this has been in soil. That's all I can ascertain from that. But let me tell you, these roots are strong. I thought I was gonna have to trim this because it, it's been just, it's been left, you know, it's been neglected. It's actually not bad at all. It's like a tiny bit that shit on the whole plant, a tiny, tiny bit. Oh, my hair's gonna annoy me. So yeah, uh, if you can recommend anywhere, that's great. Um, I'm going to the fat duck for my birthday, so I don't need any good food recommendations. I think I'm, I'm covered for that, I think. So anywhere, literally anywhere, anywhere you think I should go. Plant shops, absolutely. If you own a plant shop in London, let me know. I will roll on by at some point. I don't know when and where. Let me know. Um, I, I might have a look at some plant shops and film it. I don't, I don't know. I get a bit, you know... <sighs> It's cameras in public places. You, you, you've got to be careful, haven't you? So I don't know, but I'm just I'm brainstorming. So I'm going in about a week's time. So let me know anything, UK, London folk, if there's a place that I should go and I would love to do it. So let me know in the comments, please, please, please. Um, you can tag me and stuff on Instagram as well, I suppose. I'm going to start being a bit more active on Instagram, I think. Um, but yeah, let me know. Let me know. That was all I had to say about Landan slash birthday. Fertilizer, of course. How's it going? Amazon, etc. And I've said, mention the meeting. Mention the meeting. So today is Monday, the 2nd of October, which means you're watching it probably tomorrow, the 3rd of October. I will have already had this meeting, so I can't tell you about it now because it hasn't happened yet. But I'm having a meeting tomorrow at about 11ish with my wonderful chemist that has helped me create this beautiful, beautiful feed. If you do not know what this is, pause one second. This is my brand new fertilizer. It is available just in the UK for now, but the meeting tomorrow is about expanding that out of the UK. Already, I know, I know. So I'll need to get some more information on what I need to do, protocols I need to follow, prices, the, the timelines, all of the shit, right? All of the shit. Because I'm hoping that I don't have to change this packaging. That would really annoy me. You never know. It might be that this packaging can only, um, you know, comply with UK and then for other countries I need to change it to a bottle or whatever. We'll figure it out. I'll be told. I knew all this was a potential possibility at the time, but I wanted this to be like this because these are recyclable. A lot of companies sell refills for things in these anyway. So it just sort of made sense to do them like this. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, so I'm going to have that meeting tomorrow anyway. 
so I can't tell you anything. I can't tell you anything. I can't tell you anything about what's happened. I'm sure it's gone well. <laughs> um, I'll let you know as and when information becomes important to you. Like I said, when I launched this in the launch video, you, if you've seen it, you will remember I said, like, look, I'm going to let you know every step of the way. When something happens, I'll tell you. Um, because I appreciate all your support with this feed. The launch went really, really well. Um, a lot of you have bought it. I was quite shocked. And a few of you, because I'm recording this now, I think it's, it's been out about two weeks since I released it. I think I released it mid-September, didn't I? There's a couple of people that are saying that they, they haven't, like, it's not been long enough to notice a huge change, but there's a couple of people I'm noticing on the internet say, oh, I've noticed, like, something. Like, my plants are a more darker green, like, you know, and stuff like that. There's a lot of you that have been saying that your plants seem to start rooting. Um, I th I've had a few comments about cuttings and things like that, or cuttings or something like that. Anyway, people say, oh, I've actually noticed a difference and I've you know, been waiting ages for this to sort of do anything. So I'm very positive and I'm very, I'm just very excited. I'm very excited to hear opinions. I'm excited for feedback as well, by the way. You know, I want to know what you all think about this design. I'll probably put shit all over it because of shit on my hands. Uh, it's the one downside of the mat. It doesn't look as sexy when stuff is on it. Um, but I'm, I'm obviously willing to listen to any feedback you have on it. Obviously, I can't really listen to the feedback straight away necessarily, depending on what the feedback is. If it's a packaging thing, fine. But if it's like the performance of the feed, obviously at this point, it hasn't been long enough to tell. But just so you know, I'm completely up for, for all that feedback and I will have moments in time where I ask you about it and by all means, go for it, if you know what I mean. Um, but ultimately, I'm very excited for it. Very, very excited for it. What was it? Oh, Amazon. Oof, guys, the tongue is in the cheek, right? Amazon, so they've escalated our case because no one can actually tell us, get this, no one can actually tell us what is wrong with the listing that we've made. You know, when you see a product on Amazon, it's got the listing, it's got the bullet points about it, it's got this, blah, blah, blah. fill out all the information. If it's dangerous liquid, hazardous liquid like this is, you supply basically other documentation to prove the safety of it, to prove what's in it and blah, blah, blah. And it's all certified. So it's like, no, this is the thing. Um, we've sent all that off. It's all attached. There's all the things. And the, if you didn't know, they keep spitting it back going, nope. Problem. And they won't tell us what it is. So the case has been escalated, but, and I think Ben's in charge of that at the minute, but nothing has come back. The guy, some guy at Amazon was like, we'll escalate the case. And it's been a week and a half and we've heard nothing. So I've asked Ben today to push him again because I at least expect someone to be like, yep, we've got it. We're looking into it, anything. So we haven't had any of that. So sorry guys, I need to, ugh, I have to pull this thing out, aren't I? Can I get away with it in this? Hang on. Because this would be a lot easier, you know? Nah, it's going to be all rooting though. It's a bit unfair, isn't it? So anyway, so we're asking them to escalate it and the last time I heard they were, they were going to escalate it, but nothing's happened and this is, it's taking the piss now. I would have loved this to be on Amazon. I, honestly, I thought it might have been up by now or at least on its way to being up. But really, there's not been any change since the launch video in terms of the progression. Just some guy went, yeah, yeah, I'll pass this on. And from what I can see, it has not really been passed on. So Kaylee is not very happy because distributing it from here is not easy because we're not always here. We're having to be here a lot more, which isn't the worst thing in the world, obviously, but it's, it's having a knock-on effect for other things because when we sell plants, we're shipping on certain days and it makes sense for a plant, right, to be shipped on a certain day or because we have... We have to like submit for phytos and things like that. It makes sense. But with the feed, none of that applies. And when you buy a fertilizer, you're not expecting to be subject to those delays. So it has given us a bit of a, a bit of a shake up, shall we say? So I'm going to put this down here because I need to depot this thing. And I'm going to have to put the remnants somewhere. Hang on. I'm going to have to put it in a bag, I think. So it's had a bit of a knock on effect that we're, that we're not used to, to be honest, because at the moment we are manually shipping. It's going all right. It's not really a problem. Um, <laughs> except one day we did the initial send out of them and he stupidly brought the convertible here and we were putting all the, the feed in the back of the convertible. Convertible, if name suggests, it's a two-seater car and it's not got a big boot. So that was fun trying to get all the fertilizer in there. Spoiler alert, we didn't. It was like several trips. Um, but no, it's gone really well. That's the tea. No progression. No progression on Amazon, but progression surely with expansion. So not so bad. Not so bad. I may have said this before, but if you missed it, uh, vendors, i.e. plant shops in the UK, anybody that fancies uh, selling this wholesale, get in touch with me. You can't really get in touch with me on Instagram. Um, you can get in touch with Nurture Systems Instagram because the DMs are open on that. That's fine. You can get through that way. Or you can email the shop or email through Nurture Systems website. You can get me a few different ways. Sorry, I can't speak. We need some liquid. You can get me a few different ways if you're interested in that because we are starting to now make deals with wholesale. So if you want in on that, you know what to do. You just send me a little message and we shall, we shall have a chat. 
Ooh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be hideous. Please just come out. Oh, thank God. Don't you just love it when that happens? Don't you just love it? Because I don't know if you know, but asparagus ferns are actually quite harsh to the touch. They've almost got like thorns. I am genuinely gutted about this fern, by the way, because to be honest, you can see that it's got a really pretty shape. It's really nice. Um, would I have another one? Yes, I would here, but there's not a lot of point, is there? I don't think I'd have one in my house. I think cats will make an absolute mockery of it. Plus this, like, it molds and I think they would ingest it. And it's not like chewing on a big fat leaf, is it? It's, mm, I probably wouldn't have it in the house, which is a shame. Never say never, uh, but you never know. Right, so ugh, this has got shit all up in it. It's got shit all up in it. What can I do here? So anyway, that's the tea on the feed. If you want more info, you can look at the website and go from there. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoy it because I've worked so hard on it and I, I genuinely believe in it. Like, I, I do believe it's going to go well. I do believe you guys will enjoy it. Let's be honest, if I didn't think that, I wouldn't have released it, you know? Right. Well, that'll do. This is just nasty. What time are we on? I hate having to walk up to the camera to see what's going on. 19 minutes, okay, okay, 19 minutes. For you, it might be 16. I don't know, ooh, can, shall I guess? 16, I'm gonna guess 16, 16, 17 minutes. Anyway, right, so I want, I want, I'm gonna use this one, so it's all built, it's all built. I just have to get into this pond here. What else? <coughs> oh, something fertilizer related, sorry guys, <coughs> COVID. Uh, people have asked me to share the full ingredients list and I, I want to tackle this with you really quickly because I think maybe there might be a few people wanting that. Um, obviously, I've released on the back. I could technically release more information about what's in this on the back, right? Technically, you can do that. And originally, it did have a little bit more on. But if I put the entire recipe on the back, guys, what do you think will happen? I think some people don't realize this. I don't know what you think will happen, but let me tell you what will happen. Someone will just copy it straight away. They will copy it straight away. So I can't do that. I've given you the important bits on the back and that's what you need to know. I can't have people just copying. So I, I know a few people have released a bit of a criticism saying, well, the full ingredients aren't there, but it's, it's like, without being insulting, please use your brain. You can't do that. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. Skincare, shampoo, I don't know, fucking food. Oh, well, food you have to, I suppose. No one really releases the full thing. And if they do, it's not percentages and amounts of, it's just a list, right? Like the ingredients list, for example. Then you get that on cosmetics where you get it in order. So the first ingredient listed is the strongest. Is that the same on mine? No, it's actually not the same on mine because I don't think you need to. It's not the same regulations for that. So that's why I'm not releasing all the ingredients, obviously. It's a formula I worked on for two years, over two years. It was closer to three, but I like to say over two. Um... It's a formula I worked on for a long time, not me personally stirring it, if you know what I mean. But I worked backwards and forwards with a chemist on it for a while. Um, and it's a formula I'm very proud of. And obviously, <laughs> what's the point of having a product if you're not gonna put your thing on it? This isn't a gatekeeping thing. This is not like the shit that everyone came at me for in, ooh, must have been 2020, let's just be honest. What did I gatekeep? Oh my God, what did I gatekeep? Fuck, what did I gatekeep? Was it how to propagate a bleaker or something? Which is just wild because uh, how can you gatekeep? I, I don't fucking know. But anyway, literally, that is literally the definition of a trade secret. So I'm not being mean. I'm just taking a moment to go, well, obviously no one's getting the ingredients. <laughs> hey, God, honestly. But that's that anyway. So that's something, I just had a note to tell you that because a few people were asking that. Um, what else? Oh, another question, and this is... Less people would know this. Less people would know this. Can you share the competitor? Can you share the competitor? Give me one moment. I need to actually get this pawn open now. I really do. Hang on. Oh, do I have to actually cut this? Hang on. Oh, sorry, guys. It's a brand new bag of pawn. I think it needs opened up, but I actually don't know where to cut it. Does it tell me where to? Am I stupid? Maybe I just slice off the top. Two minutes. And I'm not going to lift this up. I don't know how many kilograms it is, but it feels fucking heavy. I'll just do that. Uh, I probably fucked that up somehow. Yeah, I think I fucked that. It's fine. I don't think I need to cut it open. I feel like the chooser provided for me there and I ignored them, but it's fine. Right. You're not going to see much here because I'm like scooping out pawn. But my fertilizer will work with this, by the way, with pawn, if you're wondering. Um, just bear in mind that the chooser does put in their own fertilizer, but... It's a tiny amount, and I could literally pick it out for you if you're wanting to look for it. It's these little, I'll show you on camera, if you're wondering. Um, these, can you see that? Oh, please see it. Please, 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 please. Come on, come on camera. How dare you? Come here, find my face first. Love that, love that. Now, look at that. There you go. These 
little yellowy orange balls. If you see that in any substrate, that's slow release fertilizer. It's very cheap to make. Not knocking it, that sounded really catty, not. It's very cheap to make, I've used it on occasion. Um, didn't do well for me in here with LECA because it, it can't like, the little balls drop through the bigger balls of LECA, so there's no other reason. Um, for a lot of people it's a good option though, if you don't feed, op uh, feed option, feed often, it's a good option I guess, but it's very generic stuff, um, each their own. So anyway, it, it does work with that, just be careful, maybe lower the dilution rate, I think. Sorry, up the dilution rate, you know what I mean? Add less fertilizer. Um, and just see how you go if it's fresh pond. If it's pond you've had for ages, like me, I keep reusing it, then you're probably fine. Just, you know, take a mill off, whatever it says, I think. That's what I would do. Just be on the safe side. Because um, someone, I think someone messaged me the other day saying, um, hi, you know, I want to I wanna feed the, my plants nearly every time I water them. Um, what would you suggest? And I was like, shit, I haven't necessarily tested for that. Um, because when I did my test in here with the, you know, the hydroponic thing, hang on, what time is it? Are we still in good time? Sorry, I get really paranoid. 24 minutes. Um... Well, I did the test in here, obviously they were fed, but then they were flushed. They were fed, then they were flushed. So I'm not feeding continuously into a buildup of water. So it really depends on what you're doing. If you're flushing it out, then yes. Um, if not, again, just make, just put less in, just put less in. Start with a mill, I think is what I said to the person. And if, you, if you're if you not noticing any adverse side effects because you're rinsing or because you're doing it all appropriate, then add another mill if you want to do that. It is, this is why guys, this is literally why it's at four mil a litre and not like a mill. There's other reasons I explained in the launch video. This is one of the reasons. It's so that you can use it in a versatile way. And it can't be versatile if it's like that much. Do you know what I mean? But this is why. So by all means, experiment with it. But my official directions are obviously on the packaging. I don't want to say if you to do something and let it not work. Just literally be cautious. Right. So yes, sorry. I don't, how did I get onto that? Oh, pawn. So the competitor. I can't, right. I can't release the name of the competitor because it's a bit of a full par. This is like, um, it's kind of like when I do my videos and I attack concepts and not shops, right? On, I'm actually going to start and stop this because I feel like I'm going to get into a thing and then not be able to do it. Okay, sorry. Now I'm not paranoid about running over time. It stops after 30 minutes, by the way. And it's happened a lot. So it's kind of like not, um, it's it's kind of like me not mentioning the name of a shop or, or a person if I'm attacking a concept. And I always say on this channel, I, I like to attack concepts and not people because there's a, there's a fucking difference. Sometimes people are shitty, but even then I've usually avoided talking about them on this channel. Um, I, I, I don't know, I just, I, I feel a bit weird about doing it, but whatever. So if I release the name of the competitor, it was kind of the same thing, right? That's, what do you think that competitor's gonna do? They could be real pissed. I might even get something through my door, who knows? Because I, it might not have even been them. I might give you a false name. I might just pick a competitor that seems really good and just be like, yeah, it was them. I can't prove it was them. I can't prove it wasn't them. Do you know what I mean? It's just not a good idea. And it's not the point. It's not really the point. I picked the best, best-selling competitor that tends to do, I think, hydroponic, really. Although I think they say they shit can be used for both, but it doesn't seem to work. But that's who I used. I, I can't, guys, I can't. <laughs> I know, I know some of you are just waiting for me to start fucking walk because we're all bored, but I can't do that. I can't do that. The competitor was the competitor and they are one of the leading brands, basically. Don't get me wrong, still shocked at the performance. Still shocked at the performance. Um, I don't really get it. I really don't get it, but it is what it is. That's not to say there might not be a fertilizer out there that's better than mine, but I didn't test 20, I tested the competitor because I don't, have, I don't have that kind of time, I don't have that kind of budget, I don't have that many plants that are, you know, like deemed identical or as identical as I could get them. Because if you guys have seen the before photos that I took, I did try really, really fucking hard to get them to be identical. I can't, like I don't really have much more to add. Plus, not only that, but a lot of these rows are in threes. So it left, you know, me compared to control. But obviously I feel like I'm over explaining it now. You get my point. I just feel like it's obvious why I can't share the name of the competitor. Um, because I don't think that competitor's gonna be very pleased with me. Because it will take, what, two days for it to get around the internet. Oh, this shit didn't work. Buy this instead. Oh, who said that? Oh, this person here on this video. Yeah, okay. It's conflict of interest is probably the word I have been looking for that I have not used, uh, for sure. For sure, for sure. Like that brand can't really do it to me. And if they did, fuck yeah, I'd come for them. Because I'd be like, listen, I could have done this to you, but I didn't. You can't do that. It's conflict of interest. That's why you don't see brands doing it. Um, it just come, it would come off, I think, really disingenuous. And that wasn't the point. Do you know what I mean? And it, honestly, when, it, when I tested against the competitor, sorry if you end up not seeing me here. Sorry. When I ended up testing against the competitor originally, um, I wasn't expecting it to outperform, by the way. Just so you actually know, nobody was expecting this to out outperform it at all. What I was testing for is to make sure our mix is at least on par with the fertilizers that are out there. 
I swear to you, that is what I was testing. Literally, Ben was the same. We just want to make sure because we came up with a mix that we believe works based on a shit ton of research for not just aroids, actually, a couple of other types of plants. And we believe we came up with something that we think worked. Chemist did a couple of iterations. We tried it. We're like, mm, let's add some more of this because we've found out over oh, research we need this and blah, blah, blah. Let's put it in. And because we created something that no one's really done this blend before, obviously, we need to make sure this shit worked. So all we were doing, I swear to you, all we were doing was just making sure that it didn't do some really nasty compared to a, I don't want to say regular, because it's not regular, but you know what I mean, like a good fertilizer that people are deeming to be good because it's selling so well and whatever. That's, that's why we chose it. There's a few reasons why we chose it. Do you know what I mean? And again, we were very shocked with what came back, and I've said this before, I'm not just saying that to sell you the feed. I don't really need to sell you this feed because to be honest, think about it guys, if this feed is shit, right, if I'm just making this up, just make, oh, I've made the whole thing up, it's just shite, you know. I, what if I've lied? I mean, I can't actually lie because I've said it's with Aqualabs, I can't really lie about that legally on packaging. It says it's with Aqualabs on the back. But what, let's just pretend I've lied and it's white labeled, right, whatever. Don't you think someone's going to find that out when they try it and it doesn't really do anything to write home about? Don't you think? Don't you think that wouldn't happen? I mean, it's pointless, pointless, pointless. But yeah, I, I can't release that, I'm afraid, guys. Some of you got a very good idea. You're probably right. Um, it probably is who you may be thinking of. Guys, I was so fucking shocked. So was Ben. To the point where I said, listen, we need to rerun this properly. I need to take a little bit more notice of this because this ain't right. Something has gone wrong. Something has gone wrong. Because I, I think I even said to him at one point, like, did you miss a feed? Like, do you, what's happened? Is that feed a dud of the competitor? What, what the fuck's going on? So we had to do it again. There was no way that I was going to leave it like that. I fucking could have. I could have. I don't think I've got anything else to say on the feed. I think people have generally been very nice. I think a lot of people that, um, I don't know if they support me or not, but I think a lot of people are very open-minded about it, which I actually really appreciate. Thank you. No one's just gone, oh, it's Kaylee Allen's feed, fuck her. That's nice of you. Um, it's got nothing to do with me. I genuinely want to make a good product, but I think I've had a tiny bit of criticism that my experiment was not very scientific. And I actually do take your point. All I can really say on that is that it wasn't supposed to be really scientific. It's not, it's not the angle I was coming at it from because if you're going to be real and scientific, you can't just do one plant against one plant against one plant. It's got to be a huge batch to get, well, I can't speak, statistical analysis. You need what, 12, is it, or 13? Um, or is it 11? It's one of those three numbers. Um, I think it's 12. I didn't know I'd, I didn't know I'd done that. When was someone going to tell me I'd done that? Um, but I, I don't have that facility here because I have plants, yes, but they're not, they're not similar enough to provide, you know, like in a TC lab would be the best thing probably, I would say, because everything is actually more appropriate. So you could test out huge TC batches. Maybe you could do that. That would be better. But in terms of it being scientific, no, I'm not saying it is. It's not, when it's written up on the website, it's not worded in that way. None of it is. It's just saying like the fanciest word I've ever used is the word control. And it just simply means there's a batch in water. So... I do actually take that criticism and I, I agree with it, but also it was not my intention to create something scientific, if that makes sense. Um, so do that what you want. All I will say is you don't see any of the competitors doing any of that at all. And I will be sassy here. You don't see it at all. And I knew before I released this feed that someone was going to say, oh, but it's not scientific. Ah, oh, but you didn't write down the temperatures from days one through 90 or whatever. I knew, I knew that was fucking coming. Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not stupid. But at the end of the day, find me the competitor that does it. I tried to just prove a point that it works really. And some of it was for me. Some of it was for you. Obviously two birds, one stone, but <clears throat> oh God, I need a drink so bad. I think it's the dust coming off the pond as well. <clears throat> It's brand new pond and it's dry. Not not good. Um, but yeah, sorry, I'm sidetracked. It's not supposed to be scientific. It is what it is. Until competitors are actually doing the same thing before products they release and they expect people to buy. I don't, I'm not saying I'm not listening to your criticism because I am and I'm, I'm telling you I take it. I just not gonna do anything about it. Plus, do you have the funding for me to do that kind of experiment? I would suggest that you do not. I would suggest that I do not, being that it's a new brand, you know. I'm not trying to be sassy, but I did what I could, you know what I mean? And if you don't want to um, believe any of the experiments, that's that's cool. I, 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 in some way, I get it, because you could quite clearly say I've rigged it somehow. Maybe I just didn't feed the competitor. I think there's evidence to the contrary that I did, but let's just say I didn't. Again, the proof is in the pudding. At the end of the day, people will try it. Some people might not like it. Some people might rave about it. We'll just have to see. Because really, the true test is probably not scientific. It's you guys trying it in loads of different conditions. Do you know what I mean? I'm confident that it works. I'm very, very confident. I've had it on my plants at home in shit conditions and they're doing great. And I've had plants that aren't uh, aroids 
that I'm testing it on. Like my Calathea has gone wild with it, which is weird because I actually was a bit worried about that one. Um, but do you know what I mean? Like it is what it is. I just, I want you guys to try it. And I want your feedback. That's what it is. If I, we have to make some changes down the line, then maybe we can make them. I'll speak to my chemist. But so far I've tested it, guys, on the most amount of plants I can fucking test it on. <laughs> Please, <laughs> G honestly, give a girl a break. Give a girl a break, honestly. It's typical, isn't it? It's the internet, but. I'm, I'm, I'm joking on, but in all seriousness, I do take your criticism. I understand. Just know that the experiment was not intended to be super scientific at all. It was just, exp it was intended to be more of a documented test than the first one, which was no documentation at all. It was a four or before and a four or after. Nothing in between. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. Anyway, I potted up this bad boy and ironically, I think I might feed him. I think I might feed him because we're here. Give me one moment. I have some in there. How much, oh, how much is going to fill that? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Where's my little... I have a little jug somewhere. You have to bear with me because I don't know where it is. I got like a one litre jug. It's because we don't need little jugs, obviously. Look at the size of this shop. Do we need little jugs? No, we don't. No, we don't. Maybe it's upstairs. Two seconds. I know I've got a spare upstairs. Okay. Right. I'm not going to use this, by the way. This is actually a feed that I could sell. It needs a wipe because I've touched it, but it needs sealing and selling. So I'm actually not going to have my feed from an official unit. I do actually have, where is it? Where's my big one? Is it this one? Oh, it's really cool because remember, I showed this feed to you a while ago on a video. I had to blur it out because I had the name of the product. I can actually show you it now. Nice big thing of power grow there. So, can't see the rest of it though because the competitor's down there. Eek. Let's just pour it into a beaker really quick. My calls. Barely needs to fill the bottom. I'm just doing this very quickly. Very, very quickly. There we go. Okay. I'm going to treat this like hydroponic. It's probably, if I had to guess, you could probably treat pond like a cross between hydroponic and soil because I feel like it would hold more of the nutrients in, but not as much as soil. So you could probably do it in the middle, to be honest, the middle of the two doses. But honestly, don't say that as red. Do your own experiment because this is fresh pond. So... It'll be fine though. So I'm just watering it through. I should do a foliar feed at some point. I would love to do that at home. I'm just scared of my wood floors. I have really nice proper wood floors at home. So I'd rather spray them outside and let them sort of dry and bring them inside. Oh, also slight update on my plants at home. They're all fine. Um, my cats were chewing my calathea, but it, it's a bit better now. It's not great, but it's a bit better. Um, the palm in my kitchen has, has obviously got mealy, whether it arrived with them or it's got them or whatever. Um, so I need to sort that out. So at some point I'm gonna have to take the palm into my back garden and I think I'm gonna get like a soapy cloth and just, just clean it and then flush it all through and then water and feed it afterwards. I've gotta be a little bit careful with what I put on because of the cats. So I'm gonna just do literally dish water, really soapy, literally like, you know, all of the things and then I'm gonna rinse it all off and then put it back in the house once it's dried a little bit. So I think that's the plan with that because I, uh, I don't know. Need some pest control maybe that's okay for pets, but I imagine there isn't really anything. So it could be a bit of a manual Samuel situation. Anyway, did I have other things to talk about? Yeah, maybe. One of them might have been the cat's back and just cover it next time. Got plenty to do. Uh, oh, someone, someone random and I'll do it before I go. I'm gonna put that back down there. Someone asked me for an update on my spiritus. Can you even see it here? Oh, you'll probably see it, but I'll just hold it up really quickly because someone said literally show us the big spiritus. It's a mess, guys. It's a mess. Look at the size of it. Can you see this? I hope you can. That's the roots, literally as tall as me. And then you've got this big bad lad here who he's not joking around. He's got several growth points, by the way, but he's a bit insane. Um, so he sort of has to live atop things because he's a long boy. He's one of the original long boys. In fact, who is the original long boy? Is it the Vitari Folium? Is it the Queen Anderium? I don't know. Answers on a postcard below. Anyway, I've repotted what I need to do. Again, it is short. Um, well, short-ish, I guess. I just more wanted to chat with you. And of course, this video replaces the video I could not get out on Friday. So there you have it. Um, you will still get a video this Friday and it should all be back to normal now. Um, they have been pre-recorded, so if I sound congested in literally all of them, that is why. That is why, because they've all been done today. Anyway, I'm going to go now because I have to record something else after this. I'm going to be fulfilling some orders. Not my own orders, but some orders. So I will see you then. You might get that next Tuesday or something like that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I will love you and leave you. Please leave your comments on anything I've said down below. It's quite all right. I won't bite. And if you like to see any of my content, then please feel free to subscribe. I'll let you know how this goes. It may not live in here. My pots are pretty precious. And this is not something I would want long term if it's going to look like this. I'll just sell it. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.